petition our government for a redress of grievances. This is what we're here for. We try to deliver a letter. We try to deliver a petition. And we're locked up in a cage or we're arrested and taken away. Arrested and taken away for trying to exercise First Amendment rights in front of a building that says it bombs countries for those rights. Countries that are always worse off just as we at home are always worse off. This building is overseeing the bombing of seven countries right now, and all seven are worse off. All seven hate the United States more. All seven are producing more terrorism, more hostility, while we lose our freedoms back here, and no one even sees the irony of a free speech cage outside of the headquarters of the Wars for Freedom. officers, we have an argument with the people in that building who don't want to talk to us, who want to pay other people to arrest us, just as they pay other people to bomb and kill and imprison and torture and rape and poison. We want to talk with your boss's boss's boss inside that building. That's who we want to talk with. I'm not sure if everyone heard this, but when we addressed the Pentagon police officers, uh, we were discussing the U.S. Constitution. And I look around here and I see we have a lot of constitutional scholars amongst us. And I believe many of the people here know about the First Amendment. So we were told we could not be out there expressing what I believe was our First Amendment right. And so when I asked an officer what happens, what is the charge if you would dare to speak on the grass rather in this cage, he said we would be arrested and charged with obstructing the peace. Is there anything? The peace. Is there anything more absurd? The people inside that building that are engaged in seven wars and other war of killing people with predator drones are allowed to go about their business, but peace people trying to exercise what I thought we had in this country, a First Amendment, we would be arrested, charged with obstructing the peace. Can anyone explain to me what's going on? We're obstructing the wars. I thank you. Say more, David. 